there are different aspects of extending human life. And one is to increase the fraction of us who reliably uh, can get to the point where we can challenge the wall. If we get past the, um, it used to be if we can get past 70. Now it's if we can get past 80. If we get past 85, then you get your chance to challenge the wall. But the wall hasn't moved. It's about 110 with a few tiny droplets moving up beyond, uh, splattering beyond 110. Now, the other is to move the wall. And that hasn't happened very much. Now, does that mean that it won't happen? I totally believe it will happen. But it's not going to be through low-hanging fruit. The things that, the news that we get about fruit flies and mice never, ever applies to humans. And the reason is very simple. The way that we became intelligent was by having neoteny, very extended childhoods, where a proto-intelligent being spends 12, 15, 16, 17 years batting against physical reality. In my case, 50 or so years. But, but well, yeah. yes, in the case, of, I, I have kids in their 20s three different ones at three different colleges. <sighs> anyway, so, um, <laughs> anyway, so because of that neoteny method for creating intelligence, it's the only one that we know of in this galaxy that has ever worked. Because of this method, we needed grandchildren, uh, grandparents to both as caregivers and, and conveyors and repositories of information and so on. And so there was a desperate need to extend human lifespan. So all of the switches that are turned in a mouse when you do, cal pardon me, when you do caloric restriction, we've already turned all those switches. We have already turned all the knobs up to 11 in the um, trade-offs in nature of extended lifespan. And we're the Methuselahs of mammals. Um, elephants and mice both each get about a billion heartbeats. It's a scaling law in mam in, among mammals. We get three and a half billion. Wow. So when it, when it comes to the low hanging fruit, we've already done that. Now, does that mean there isn't higher hanging fruit? There's already strong signs of higher hanging fruit that nature did not have within random evolution reach. In other words, switches that can be turned that, took a, that will take a certain complexity or intervention that was not available in the random evolution of Cro-Magnons and Homo sapiens. Um, those things, I think, very likely will happen. Uh, but it's going to take a scientific enlightenment civilization and certainly not one that emulates the societies that blew it across 6,000 years. And that is oligarchies, inherited, inherited aristocracies, things like that. The only society that ever brought us here using Zoom and Oops. expressing ideas and inventing like mad is an egalitarian, um, flat, fair, competitive society that managed to um, evade the traps of, uh, above all, inherited wealth.